The Thanksgiving holiday appears to have set off a virus surge with three respiratory illnesses, COVID-19, the flu, and RSV now spreading widely in New Jersey and across the nation. U.S. health officials say hospitals were already stretched thin. Now this so-called triple-demic is threatening to slam health care providers and the holiday season. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. It happens in the blink of an eye. He went to bed you know, with a runny nose and he woke up, you know, struggling to breathe. Kristen Hohn's toddler Noah got caught up in the surge of respiratory viruses sweeping through New Jersey and the nation. What started as sniffles right before Thanksgiving ramped up overnight into a frightening medical emergency for 22-month-old Noah. Went to bed without a fever, woke up with a fever, and woke up in the morning with his chest uh, retracting, where they're like trying to pull in air, basically, like they're really struggling. Um, and his chest just, just sounded awful. It happened so quickly. She says the nearby urgent care clinic sent them straight to the emergency room at Jersey Shore Medical Center, where Noah's doctor diagnosed RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. Nebulizer treatment stabilized the toddler's condition, and he went home, but then caught another virus, a bad cold. His mom says Noah's daycare center is overrun, but... People who I know who don't use daycare, the kids are getting just as sick, you know. There's so many different viruses going around this time of year, and the kids just get hit one after another, so it can be overwhelming for sure. Now, as the masking and social distancing has melted away and kids are back in school, they're all getting exposed all at once. So that potentially is leading to this unusual timing of these increasing volumes of kids with respiratory illness. Hospitals report they're swamped with a so-called triple-demic of respiratory virus cases, what the American Medical Association's chairwoman calls a perfect storm for a terrible holiday season. The medical director at Jersey's Department of Health says the healthcare system so far is managing the pressure, but it's concerning. We're getting hit with a bit of a triple whammy out there. We are seeing increases in RSV. We are seeing an early flu season. We're continuing to see COVID-19 out there with increases in, in cases as well. The CDC reports influenza is rampant nationwide and atypically early. An estimated 8.7 million cases with 78,000 hospitalizations spiking at their highest levels in a decade for this time of year. New Jersey's also reporting high flu caseloads in all counties, more than 30,000 cases so far. Meanwhile, COVID is spreading again in New Jersey with a rate of transmission at 1.6. RSVs also kicked into gear, peaking earlier than usual this fall with maybe 9,000 cases one week in mid-November, compared to the average spike that occurs in late December and January. Currently, right now, there's about 250, 260 uh, pediatric uh, cases in the state that are hospitalized. But it also can affect the elderly um, and those with chronic conditions as well. And what we're seeing a lot of people getting is either one, two, or very rarely, but sometimes all three of the viruses together. Over the Christmas holidays, uh, there is a chance that we could see an uptick in some of these viruses. So with the flu increasing and um, also, with the variants of COVID, I think that has the potential to add on uh, volume as well. Hand hygiene can help folks avoid RSV, but the early respiratory viral onslaught has created another problem, spot shortages in certain pediatric medications, including ibuprofen to reduce fevers, amoxicillin for secondary infections, and albuterol for nebulizers. But there are shortages, and there's many different reasons for that. Uh, production. We've seen, you know, supply line shortages uh, for quite a couple of years now uh, with the COVID. If you uh, can't find your prescription in one pharmacy, check around and there's a good chance another pharmacy will have it. Doctors say vaccination rates around the country have fallen off, perhaps due to COVID fatigue, but they urge folks to get the COVID bivalent booster and a flu shot for eligible family members, especially with holiday visits scheduled. As for Noah, He's feeling much better now. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.